walk back in here in my hunting blind. Spent a little bit of time this afternoon getting it tuned up. It's a Wednesday before Saturday opening archery season. Probably not going to hunt this spot. Um, this is my, my dad's property. Probably not going to hunt this um, this weekend. I'll probably let this sit for a couple more weeks. I'm back here doing a lot of cutting limbs and that kind of stuff. And got some deer sign at the feeder, but I got it sent it up pretty bad up here, so I'm, I'm not even going to try it this weekend. I'm going to go hit state land this weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys, a quick little look at my my shooting blind. It's only about a two-minute walk from the house back here. This is a real private little area. My one of my hunting videos I got on my channel about hunting squirrel. And this is the, the woods I hunt. Chair set up. Here's my shooting window. I only have two shooting lanes here. I have that lane right there, which is cleared all the way to the creek. And this lane right here, which is right underneath the feeder. That's a Wild Games Innovation feeder. It's one of the cheaper feeders on the market, but it's been back here for four years. I had to keep new batteries in it, but right there. That is a drop off to the creek. It's about a five foot embankment. There's really no other way for the deer to come in here, but I'm left to right. There's a swamp bottom. Off to my left behind here is full of water. And it runs up to a little bottleneck right here at the creek. And it's only a strip of land. It's about 10 feet wide. And if you keep going off to my right here, this woods, there's about an acre and a half this way. But that way, this bottlenecks right into my mom and dad's, my dad's lawn, basically. And we've never seen deer moving through the backyard in the 10 years we've lived here. But I've seen plenty of deer back here. I shot a small little doe out of here last year during doe season. Um, and I've got plenty of pictures on my game camera. I'll, I'll run in a couple of my pictures here. Never seen an antler deer in here. Never seen a buck. I've uh, been hunting this woods for 10 years. This spot that I'm on right here is about five and a half acres mixed in. And there's about an acre and a half over there, about an acre this way. And about three acres of this way, but the three acres over here, half of it's underwater. So, um, but this is my little shooting blind. Basically, what I did today is I just built this wall up here because of the afternoon sun comes right in here. I want to make sure I was in the shadow, but I'll step out here in front and give you guys a little peek of what it looks like from the front side. So, that's the shooting blind. Basically all the stuff I cleared out of the shooting lanes, I just kind of built this up into a, um, just a, a little blind, nothing fancy, just a big enough window. If I was just going just gonna to rifle hunt out of this, I would have made that window a lot smaller just because of it's such a limited spot to hunt because of how this is situated. But I had to leave that window a little bit bigger for bow hunting. I built this wall up off the side here today so when the deer come in here, um, I can draw and then move myself into the window so they don't see that movement of me drawing the bow. Um, I've never been a big tree stand hunter. I, I've, I had a couple tree stands out in state land that got stolen. So that really kind of burned me for tree stand hunting. There's plenty of trees in here that I could put a climber in or even build a shooting house or whatever, but I like hunting from the ground. Anyways, just a quick look at my, my setup back here. The ground blind. The feeder back there behind me, hanging in the tree. Some corn out. I try to keep this feeder fed up all year. Um, you're not in the state of Florida. You're not allowed to hunt a feeder unless it's maintained. I think it's a year. 
or whatever. I I don't know. I keep corn in it all year round. There might be you know a week or two during the summer where either the battery goes dead or I don't get corn in it. But very rare is there not corn on the ground back here anyways. So that's it. Just a quick video. Talk to you guys later. So my blind, let's see if I can see it in the viewfinder. Is, ha, there it is. There's my blind right there. Now this is that little flooded bottom. There's a little spot of dirt over there, but just past these trees where this comes around, it's more water. So it's a real tight bottleneck from the woods. There's my mom and dad's place up there. It's also where I do a lot of squirrel hunting. This is full of uh, pine and oak in here. Some magnolia and some other holly, a lot of holly, but it's ma mainly oak and pine. And boy, is there some squirrels running around in this canopy. And my dad, um, he's really done a lot to this woods. When, when we moved here, this was so thick you couldn't even you couldn't even see through here, let alone walk through here. He basically came in here, and cleared out all the underbrush. And just made a beautiful high canopy, gorgeous woods. And there is some monster pine trees in here. Now this is one of the one of the taller pines on the property right here. You can see that thing goes way up. We got a couple more big pines. There's another flooded pond. Little cypress. There's this pine tree right here is just a monster tree. It's every bit of 125 feet tall. Another big monster pine over here. Taking a couple out of the woods the last year. I got some lightning strikes, killed them off. But, like for example, um, this whole area right here was was so thick you couldn't even walk through here. He cleared all this out, so, and that's all coming in the grass back there. Now last year, I said I've never seen deer back here. We did see some deer sign down here. I wish I could come right up into this little grassy spot. Shoot them right off the back porch. Anyways, that's it.